What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. The first fish of the day. So we are in a Northern Illinois Lake today. I'm with my cousin, so thank you for filming. But first fish of the day, caught on the FTA Ned. Not a bad little start, it's 512. We are gonna be out here probably pretty much till dark. So hopefully we can get on some fish. That was the first one of the day. We are throwing these FTA Neds, chartreuse jig heads, and hopefully the bite stays consistent. What a good first bite, here we go. So sick, yo, Nat, 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 Nat. Alrighty, guys, so kind of like I was saying, it is 512, 517 now, and that was my first fish. The wind's picking up a little bit. We got some overcast now. It was sunny before, so hopefully, it doesn't rain. We are fishing pretty much. Pretty much a lay down. We're sitting in about eight, nine feet of water, big drop off. We got some weeds up shallow. My cousin just missed the bite. So the bite is definitely on. This has definitely been my most productive spot. We are fishing a Northern Illinois Lake today. I don't fish this lake often, but I started fishing it more when I saw John B come out here and kind of get it done. So that inspired me to get back out here. And the one time I did finally come back out here after watching that video, I caught a four and a half pounder out in this lake. That was the hundred dollar challenge. I'll pop up a little thing right there if you guys want to watch that. Yeah. We got some kids asking about the YouTube channel. What is it? McGrath Fishing. So I put the natty down. <laughs> Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Thank you. Appreciate that, dude. Those kids right there just subscribed, chilling out with us. All right, so we're waiting for Pistola P to get here. He's taking forever as always. It is 526. Only one fish on the board so far. Do we suck? Well, a new subscriber and we got some entertainment out here. So they asked if we had a YouTube channel that are down the way and now they're over here doing some flips. So I did not tell them to do that at all. They asked if they could be on the video and flipping the video. So here we go, guys. We're going to get on them. That was so sick. Yo, Nat, 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 Nat. This is a good one. Guys, I'm hooked on. That was so sick. I skipped it in there. This is a really nice fish. This is a really nice one. Get ready, get ready. Oh my God, dude, this one's really nice. It's like, is that a cat? It's like, it's a catfish. Good, get off my line. He bent the hell out of my hook. All right, guys. Well, I just thought I had a huge bass on. I was like, this is really nice. And it's probably about a seven pound cat. So probably a seven pound cat, just lost it. Literally had the sweetest skip up to that raft, skipped it up to that raft, and then it hit like a shit brick house. Super, never caught a catfish on a net before. That would have been kind of still sweet to land. Ooh, Mr. Largy comes out to play. Ow, he's spiked me. Alrighty guys, this is technically the second fish, right after the catfish, little dink. You know, the dinks count too, guys. The dinks count too, but at least the bite is on. This is all being done on the FTA Ned right now. Green pumpkin, purple grape flake. How many times did you guys hear that over spring? <laughs> Green pumpkin, purple grape flake. These fish are school. Yo, I literally thought there was a ginormous bass. No way. No way that just happened to me. Why? A win knot? Seriously? Oh my God, I almost got it. Yes. Yes. I am the smartest man alive. I am the smartest man alive. All right, guys, I'm sorry about the wind. I'm moving right now with the trolling motor. We're going to pick P up. So Pistola P is coming out with us. We have so far, I have a total of two bass and one cat that I got all the way to the boat and it came off. I thought I literally had like a ginormous bass. So I was like, oh, I was kind of freaking out a little bit. And then when it came off, I was like, ah, kind of kind of was glad it came off my line. I'm not a big fan of catfish. Not like I'm against catfish, but when I'm bass fishing and I catch a catfish, it's kind of like, 
screw it, you know? It's just kind of one of those things where I'd rather catch a bass, especially when I'm bass fishing, so no big deal there. But we're going to pick up Pistola P. He is waiting at the pier right now. So I'm gonna pick him up, and then we're gonna go probably back to that spot, kind of move around, go towards that side of the lake. So hopefully the bite picks up a little bit more. This is definitely slow, but at least we're out here catching some fish, having a good time. Here we go. Right, guys, so we just picked up P at the launch. Hey, local. Uh... All right, so there's that, but we just picked him up. It is 6.01. And we have a total of two bass and we lost that catfish, which I'm kind of a little bit butthurt about it because I wanted to get it at least in the boat. I thought I had a really, really big bass, but then right when we got into the boat, it's like, it's, oh. that was a big fish. yeah, it was a really, really big fish just surfaced and jumped out of the water. That was pretty big. So we're going to make a few casts here. I'm going to stop talking and go back to the chest, but we got pee. We got two bass, lost a catfish and here we are. So let's get it. Let's flip it up. Nobody knows what he's doing back there, but he's hooked on. There's a cat. Want a picture of this one? On the nuts? Okay, guys, I just got a cat. It's not gonna hold it up. I'm just gonna get a nice release. He gone. Guys, this is all being done in the follow the action nets, I'm telling you. When these baits come out in 2020, you guys are gonna literally shat yourselves. This Ned catches pike, walleye, bass, and now catfish which is a new species on the net for me. Crappie. And crappie too. And big bluegills, big bluegill and perch. All right guys, that'll do it for today's video. This is filmed actually a few days later because I wanted to incorporate the giveaway winners into this video. So I waited to do the outro, but overall the day was definitely slow on fishing. Hooking onto that catfish, I truly thought I had like the biggest bass ever. It was still fun out there at a great time with my cousin. He is now gone and back to Florida. Big thank you to him for coming up, fishing with me and helping me film and the whole nine yards. So that's that. For the three giveaway winners on my 500 subscriber video was the Hog Hunter hat and the Hog Hunter t-shirt was one prize. The Smalley hat and the Smalley shirt was a second prize and as well as the walleye hat and a walleye t-shirt for the third prize. So I've selected three random winners. I just picked randomly and I hope you guys don't mind which species you get. Like I said, this is all random. I wanted to give back to you guys for 500 subscribers. I also did this really cool thing where I went to the local fishing spots, gave some stuff away to kind of get more people involved in my channel. So the three giveaway winners, the hog hunter hat and the hog hunter t-shirt is Island Life Fishing. Congrats. Thank you for all the support. You're a true supporter of my channel and I couldn't thank you enough more. So the winner of the Smalley hat and the Smalley shirt is Colorado Fisher. Big thank you. Thank you for entering the giveaway. And last but not least, the winner of the walleye hat and the walleye t-shirt. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name, but Tony Wagoner. Congrats. You're the third winner. So, so to claim your prizes, just DM me on Instagram. Those will be sent out the next day. If I don't hear back within 48 hours, 48 hours since this video has been posted, I'm going to select a new winner for whoever doesn't respond. So you guys have 48 hours to message me on Instagram. It will be sent out instantly right away. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of McGrath Fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It wasn't that action packed, but it was still fun to get out there and have a good time with my cousin. And like I said, I'm sorry about the delay for the giveaway, but I stayed true to my word. I wanted to do it. So here it is. Thank you guys so much. More giveaways to come. My next big giveaway is going to be at a thousand subscribers. We were at 631 the last I checked. Not sure where we're at right now, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next week. As always, hit that like button, subscribe, and we're out.